Hey there, GPNZ crew. Sam here from giantpumpkins.co.nz. This is something new and slightly a bit different. I'm going to give a walkthrough on the latest GPC Common Ground newsletter. Now, if you don't know what that is, the GPC is the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. They produce a newsletter that comes out four times a year. Their fall edition 2022 just came out, came out about a week ago. I sometimes did a review of this in uh, on the website as a blog post, but I decided to do this as a video this time. I'm going to scroll through it, give some commentary, um, point out some interesting bits and pieces. You can follow along too. Now, if you haven't signed up, you want to go to gpc1.org check that out right we're into it first off we've got the latest uh edition here and you know don cruz smashes the canadian giant pumpkin record well done don 2537 pound pumpkin that is amazing um good on him there's a bit of a talk here about the problems with the canadian climate which i can imagine would be hard with it being so cold sometimes um what he used to help keep the heat in uh temperature ranges I like the Canadians because they're in metric, same as us in New Zealand, so that helps trying to convert things. As we go down, we've got a picture of the lifting frame, uh, as a uh, sort of tripod type structure, and then uh, blockchain here lifted up, that's great. Al Eaton, he's got a new record long gourd. If you're watching this and this photo here is a bit blurry, that's not your eyesight. That's because a non high res image was put into this PDF. So unfortunately, um, Al's not looking as good as he should, but that's okay. So 173.75 inches. Luckily, they converted that for us. It's 4.41 meters for us in the metric world. That's amazing. Look at it so good okay now we're moving on uh dal and julie forced fast forced hope i've said that correctly apologies to anyone that i've pronounced their name wrong um this is 11.65 pound pumpkin so this is a world record this is amazing if you've seen or want to look up have a look up at the um the world record for a tomato that stood for so long nobody could beat it i guess the trick is to make sure that the tomato i mean did i say pumpkin tomato tomato stays in one piece look at it it's amazing there's a whole bunch of information here on what they did during the growing season that's what i like about this people will um you know talk about different things cindy tobeck she won the gpc master gardener world championship for the second consecutive year well done cindy she's the person that also puts this newsletter together um emails out and wants everybody to submit articles so if you've got an interesting story or want to share what you've done in your growing season make sure to uh, keep an eye out for that email now um yeah they've got all the qualifying school uh, scores here so they have to enter a whole bunch of different um, vegetables or fruit in different categories and i'm not 100 percent sure on the exact rules check out gpc wonder.org for all that but look at that there's so many qualifiers it says down here this is the all-time high number of qualifiers which blew my mind i literally didn't think many people were trying to go for this but it shows just how exciting and important it is uh it works well when you've got really um dedicated excited people that are growing all sorts of different things here's ian and stuart Patton uh they're the growers of the year world champions so they've grown the heaviest pumpkin in 2022 uh not quite the world record but definitely you know these guys are going to keep going until they get that so the grower of the year is multiple pumpkins at multiple events i think somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but as you can see the pool of people there is quite low it's great to see somebody outside of the u.s um you've obviously got stefano as well you know from italy you know he's he's doing great as well belgium uh and then the rest is the us <clears throat> in the last gpc newsletter they had a whole article talking about cloning and it was very interesting and this is the second part by um chris Rodebauer. apologies about the name i forgot that wrong again but look at the color of this pumpkin it's amazing so he grew it once it didn't quite work out as he wanted to so then he managed to clone it and then um go 
down that path of growing it again basically so um there's a whole bunch of information here i'm not going to go over it but this is a very interesting article and I'm, it's going to be interesting to see if more people go down this cloning path at some point so that's pretty cool um yeah second chance through cloning look at that pumpkin look at the color it's next level um great this is really interesting article here it's a bit hard to read again they've submitted an image that's not high res so it doesn't work on pdf it actually hurts my eyeballs to look at this so unfortunately that's a bummer but it's talking about how you should be looking at your lifting gear and figuring out its brake strength and making sure everything's safe it does say up here that they they had a pumpkin slip on them um their braided bottom rope snapped so that's not good uh reminds me i need to get uh, a new strap for the bottom of our lifting gear i think just because our one's quite old uh, but with the webbing uh, you know uh, it, it can lift a lot and you can get it checked so here in new zealand we use steel and tube for a lot of our stuff and um but here it breaks it all down tells you what the ratios are and the safe working loads um pretty interesting um and how much load is on each piece of the ring force wise so if you got really big pumpkins and you like looking into the stuff that's an interesting read we've got here about healthy plants um and this is talking about basically i guess it's almost an infomercial basically but it's talking about a product here called biofence it's a palletized mustard meal um which helps biofumigates the soil but you can also release a whole bunch of nutrients so check that out that could be of use to you further down um here's another article that's a bit hard to read i don't it says the two 2022 growing season in the red um so this is about tomatoes again this is about some good old uh, genetics i think what they're talking about yep there we go we've got a recap here a little recap for the rocky mountain veg giant vegetable growers which is cool good to see so many people taking part and excited okay here we go the marrow man breaks field pumpkin record so he broke the world record field pumpkin twice this year um but he really seems himself more as a marrow man look at that bloody marrow amazing i don't know if anybody's growing field pumpkins here in new zealand uh like record size maybe they should i don't know i think people have no trouble just growing anything really um there's a product mentioned here which they ian stewart have been using sustain um that could be of use to you if you want to have healthy plants oops um but you know there, there is a whole bunch of products out there sometimes you've got to try and figure out what the equivalent is if you don't have that brand name so there's a bit of uh background of how he grew what he did um so that's pretty cool i love having that background information this is a 24 24 pound pumpkin 2424 pound pumpkin it's carved into a giant dragon it's amazing uh when these pumpkin carvers look at a pumpkin and then go i'm going to turn it into this thing just blows my mind because a i can't even envision doing that let alone actually doing it so here's um todd Freemode's good season This is sort of good little little uh update there we've got um a celebration sort of thing here <clears throat> gpc has got the international growers convention march the third the fourth and fifth coming up um so a bit of info there it's good that they can do wedding services so if you want a pumpkin wedding it's probably a good place to be gpc um neptune's harvest they're going to be doing a tour like this would be real interesting to me i love uh tours and behind the scenes things so that would be amazing to see that um and then a little bit of sponsorship here info we've got uh, yep new york botanical gardens support their sponsors and then contact your gpc reps they've got them all here if you need them and of course um submit an article you know cindy at gpc1.org there we go 
So thanks for watching this. This is a little overview, uh, quick read through of the GPC um, Common Ground newsletter. I think it's a really good thing. Um, I'm glad that they're doing it and uh, look forward to every edition. So check it out. If you aren't already subscribed, do that. As always, I'm Sam from giantpumpkins.co.nz. Join the crew, GPNZ crew, and uh, I'll see you next time.